Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will understand the volume of right circular cone. So we have already defined cone as a three dimensional shape that tapers smoothly from a flat base. A flat base, from there it tapers smoothly till the, till the axis. Right? The point is called apex actually, apex. This point is called apex. So from a base, it tapers to the apex or vertex, right? And for wide circular cone, the base is circular and that base is actually perpendicular to the axis, okay? Or if you want, you can also define circular as all the line segment joining the apex and any point in this circumference of the cone, the, the dark blue one. So if you take all the lines and if you just draw from this point to any point in the circumference, you will actually get a cone. Okay, so we'll take an activity. To take an activity, we'll take a cone and a cylinder of same base and same height. So if this height is h, this height is h, the cone also has the same height, and if you see the radius is r, this also has the same radius. You see they are exactly superimposing. So the cone and the cylinder has same height and same radius. Please pay attention, it will be critical here. Both take a cone, take a cylinder, you can do this in your home, which has same height and same base, right? Both are hollow actually, hollow cylinder and hollow cone, which has same base and same, sorry, so same radius and same height, okay? Now what you do is, you take three such cones. We take three such cones which has same radius. If it has r radius, this will also have r radius. If it has height h, all three will have height h. You see, the heights are matching at. Okay. Now you fill this cone with water. Okay. So take the first cone, fill it. You see that water level will rise. Take the second cone and fill again the cylinder. Right? You will see the water level will rise. Take the third cone and again empty the water in this cylinder. You'll see that after three cones, the cylinder is completely filled, right? So what we notice is three into volume of cone is nothing but volume of cylinder. So notice that three into volume of cone is equal to volume of cylinder and the cylinder has radius r and height h cone also has radius r and height h both have same values of radius and h correct so with that i can say that and volume of cylinder is what pi r square h so 3 into volume of cone is what pi r square h so volume of cone is nothing but 1 by 3 pi r square that is the volume of cone. How? See, with this experiment, we have seen that you have taken three volume, three cones, and three cones of radius r and h. Radius r and height h was used to fill a cylinder of radius r and height h. Right? So, three into volume of cone was nothing but volume of cylinder of radius r and h. So, volume of cylinder of radius r and h is pi r square h. Three into volume of cone is pi r square h. So volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. Let's take some numerical. The height and the slant height of the cone are given. So height is 28. This guy is 20. Sorry, height is 21. And slant height is 28. Both are centimeter given. We need to find the volume of cone. So we know that volume of cone is what we just saw. 1 by 3 pi r square h. So we have r. We don't, we have h, we don't have r. We know that L square is equal to r square plus h square. And this is a right triangle. This is h, this is L, this is r. So r is nothing but root of L square minus h square. L is what slant height given 28. square minus h square that is 21 square okay you saw this you get 7 root 7 cm 
that is the radius. So volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. So volume of cone 1 by 3 pi r square h, 1 by 3 pi h to 2 by 7, r is 7 root 7, whole square and h is 21 and this will be centimeter cube. You solve it, you get 7, 5, 4, 6 centimeter cube and that's it. that is the volume of the cone. It's pretty easy question here, the slant height and height was given, the radius was not given, we found the radius first. Once we have the radius and height, we can easily find the volume of cone as 1 by 3 pi r square h. Monica has a piece of canvas whose area is given. She uses it to have a conical tent plate with a base radius of 7 meter. Assuming that all stitching margins in the waist is incurred while cutting is approximately 1 meter square, we have to find the volume of the tent that can be made to this. So, if you see the height is not given of the tent. So, first we have to find the height of the tent, okay, and that can be determined by the fact that the data is given for the canvas. See, the canvas area is 551 meter square, wastage is 1 meter square, right? So, that means the tent surface area is how much? 551 meter square, the canvas area minus wastage, that is 550 meter square is the surface area of the Tent. Right? So we can see that surface area of tent is given as 550 meters square. And that is nothing but pi r l. R is given, we can easily find L. So we will put the values here. That is 22 by 7 into R into L. So with that, if you solve, you get L as 25. So slant height is 25. With that we can easily find h. h is nothing but root of l square minus r square. Pythagoras theorem. This is the triangle here. Okay, this is h. This is this is h. This is l. This is r. So r h is nothing but root l square minus r square. Put the value root of 25 square minus 7 square. And that is nothing but 24 which is meter. So we got the value of h. Once we got the value of h and the value of r, so we can easily find the volume of tent is nothing but 1 by 3 pi r square h. Let's put the values 1 by 3, 22 by 7, r is 24 square and h is, sorry, r is 7, 7 square and h is actually 24, 24, right, you put the values, you get 1, 2, 3, 2, meter cube, meter cube, that is the answer, that is the volume of the tent. So, pretty easy, surface area of the tent, I mean it was given how much truth is required to prepare the tent and what is the wastage, so with that we got the surface area of the tent. So, with surface area of the tent and radius already given, we found the slant height of the tent, the slant height of the tent, we found height of the tent, once we got the height of the tent, we could easily find the volume of the tent because the radius is already given. It's a pretty easy question. The height of the cone is given 15 centimeter, all in centimeter. The volume is given, we have to find the radius. Pretty easy. Volume is nothing but 1 by 3 pi r square h. So, our volume is 1570 centimeter cube is 1 by 3 pi is 22 by 7. R we don't know, h is 15. So you saw this, you get R as 10 centimeters. Very, very easy question. A conical pit. Pit is, again, you dig this on land, you get pit. Conical pit of top diameter, 3.5 meter. Like this. this is 3.5 by 2 radius. And 12 meter deep. This is 12 meter. This is a pit of this diameter, if you see here. This diameter is given and the depth is also given. Okay, how much is the capacity in kiloliters? So we will just find the volume of this particular cone. So volume is 1 by 3 pi r square h with the values 1 by 3, 22 by 7, r is 3.5 by 2 square and h is 12. 
So you put the values, you get 35.8 meter cube. Okay, this is a meter cube. We have to find the answer in kiloliter. We know that one meter cube is equal to one kiloliter. Okay, just convert this into kiloliter. Okay. A right triangle ABC with side 5, 12, and 13 is revolved about the side 12 cm. So we have to find the volume of the solid solution. So we have seen in one experiment that if you take a right triangle and you revolve it, you get a Q. Sorry, you get a cone. It's a cone. And it is said that this is it is revolved about the side 12 cm. So this is 12. If this is 12, can we guess which is 13 and which is 5? Obviously, the longest side is the hypotenuse. This is 13 and this is 5. So once we have this data, once we understand that since it is revolved around 12 cm and this will be 5 and this will be 13, so that means we got a cone of radius 5 and height as 12. And with that, we can easily find the volume of the cone. So volume of cone is what? 1 by 3 pi r square h. Put the values 1 by 3 pi r is what? Pi square h is 12. Put the volumes, you get almost 314 centimeter cube. That is the volume. So in this question, the requirement was that you understand that if you take a right triangle and you revolve, you get a cone. First thing. Second thing is that you are revolving around 12 centimeter side, then the height will be 12, and the highest side, the, the longest side will always be hypotenuse. The other side is the base, and the base becomes the radius of the cone. A heap of wheat is in the form of a cone. A lot of heap, uh, I mean a lot of wheat are there, it forms a heap and that is, that is almost similar to cone with a diameter of 10.5 meter. So the radius is 10.5 by 2 meter and the height is 3 meter. We have to find the volume. So volume is pretty easy. Volume is 1 by 3 by r square h. The value 1 by 3 by 2 by 7. r is 10.5 by 2 square h is 3 and this will be meter cube. So all the values you get in a 6.625 meter cube. First part done. The heap is to be covered by a canvas to protect it from rain. Find the area of convex required. That means I am looking for surface area. Surface area is pi r l. I don't need l. L I can find. L is nothing but root of r square plus h square. It's line type. The values R is 5.25 square and H is 3 square. If we solve it, you get, you get almost 6.05. That is L. So surface area is what? Pi R L. And that is nothing but 22 by 7 into R that is 5.25 into L that is 6.05 into the meter square that is nothing but 99.825 meter square okay that is the area of the canvas required to protect it from the rain thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also Get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.